What's up guys, John with Gaming Through the Decades here and we're back with another video. And this time it's a little bit of a preview of a new Raspberry Pi 3 that's coming out. And it is called the MU. It is made by Gamers Tech, the same company who makes um, Nintendo clone consoles and Super Nintendo clone consoles. And this time they are coming out with a Raspberry Pi 3 that is ready to go out of the box, loaded with an operating system, and even comes with a few controllers. I did get a chance to meet up with the creator and uh, just kind of discuss this new um, Raspberry Pi 3 with him. So let's go ahead and check that footage out from this weekend at the AZ Game On Expo. Oh wow, it's got like a little, I like the little Blackberry type controller. Yeah, that's too. what's good, it's for DOS games and stuff like that. Oh, that's so small, yeah. set up there. And yeah. plus when you're in Debian, you want to be able to do some command lines, something like that. I mean, that is super light, that is yeah. crazy. And what's good is all these controllers and all these keyboards will work with your PC too. So if you use lock on the PC, it'll automatically see the configuration. So there's a And then those are heat sinks for your RAM. He seems for your RAM. So what we're doing is we're actually putting them together for people when we get them because we actually have to source the Raspberry Pis from the U.S. and everything else from our factory in China. So they come here and then we put the Raspberry Pis in, assemble it, put the everything there, and then we ship it out because we don't want them to have our software. Either. So if I wanted to play a game like Heretic that runs off a of DOS, I could I could put that well, on there. As a matter of fact, I, I got Doom uh, and Quake on here. I was just right on. on Heretic. <laughs> Most people don't like Heretic that much. I, mean, I love Heretic, DOS, man. Um, That's but, blasphemy. Um, I, I like Rise of the Triad, yeah. so I like Rise of the Triad and stuff like that. I like that one a lot with the Apache game. And then uh, Duke Nukem works as well. Duke Nukem yeah. 3D. All that stuff, so you can play all those. And then it has Netflix, so that's what's cool. So like, you can message someone your IP, right, and they can connect, and you because that's the RetroArch team. We didn't want to take, you know, any of their their hard work. Right. You know? So uh, we offered to um, release a game on their platform, and we paid for their server for updates. Right on. And, uh, they were pretty cool about it. Um, it does most systems. Up PlayStation, everything. PlayStation down runs great, sixty frames the way it's supposed to run. Uh, Jaguar, Saturn, and uh, Dreamcast is a little slow sometimes, and compatibility is bad. But even on the compute PC, it's bad because it's a yeah, hard issue. yeah. Saturn is a tough one. The Saturn Especially. and the Jaguar is bad. Yeah. Well, so, but uh, like you know, it supports MAME everything. But what's good is uh, there's no copyright protection. So okay. if you wanted to run Emulation Station instead of Laka, you could. Okay. Uh, emulation Station is a little more cumbersome, that's why we went with this. But this also comes with um, a full featured web browser and everything. You can exit out into an operating system of the Raspbian, you know, basically a distro of Debian. So you could uh, also launch into Emulation Station if you wanted to. So uh, like here's just the arcade. Just put it in the quarters. And it, uh, the kit comes with either a 64 gig uh, micro SD or a 128. Oh wow! And it, it comes preloaded with games, right? Uh, just games that are public domain and the ones we license. Okay, not, not gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but you we, can. We cannot, yeah, we can't. Do, we're not doing anything illegal. We're not right, doing anything. I understand. Even the cores that we have are being downloaded from their server. So okay, let's do that yourself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So. But the ROMs, you can you can plug this into your computer and just dump the ROMs. If you yes, want, you can right? also take a, a micro USB or a flash drive or whatever, and just put the ROMs on that, and you can just scan the the USB drive, and it'll automatically remember it. Okay. So it'll, it'll automatically do it, so you don't even have to be connected to the network. It's just cool to get on the network, so you can stream like videos and stuff, you know. Plus, this enable you have Netplay as well. So uh, you have Netplay, like you can turn it on if you wanted to. But like here's shaders, like these are really cool shaders. Let me uh, show you one here. You won't see this many. It won't be this cumbersome for the regular user. Right. Uh, we're not releasing until the 17th, so we're still going. 17th of August. Yeah. Okay. So, um, but here we go. Let's do this one. Like you're on an RL. Oh, right on, yeah, yeah that's you know cool, man. Right, Because right. I actually play all my retro stuff on an, L on an LED TV. Right, yeah, so, so that's really it's, it's, cool, it's, man. You got yeah, it on that's there, nice. and you have no lag. You feel it, feel it, there's no lag, man. Oh, yeah. No lag yeah, whatsoever. Yeah. It also supports uh, 360 controllers, PS3, PS4. It connects because there's onboard Bluetooth on the Raspberry Pi 3. So. Will it receive updates every time? Um, you can just go to the online updater. Um, there's actually an updater here and you can update their new build. What's cool about the Raspberry Pi build of Laka 
it'll automatically include the cores and upgrade the cores for you. Um, also, you're not gonna, it, it never crashes when it doesn't update, it just rebuilds from the old image, so you're not gonna lose your ROMs at the same time. So, okay. so if you have everything stored on there, you're not gonna lose your ROMs unless something, unless your SD card goes. Basically. What is the OS? Uh, it's, it's